What's up everybody? Welcome to G from BC. Gary here with the first episode of the rig walk around series. I uh, don't have a really snappy name for uh, the rig walk around yet so we'll just leave it as rig walk around series. So it's been a while uh, since I've made any sort of new content. It's been raining here in BC for the last couple of weeks or so. So finally got sunshine and I get to film my first episode for this uh, series. I think it only makes sense that the first episode of the series is about the vehicle that got me started with this whole YouTube thing, which is my 2008 Ford F-150 Larry. Yeah. I've owned this vehicle for for a long time, actually, since 2009. This is actually the first vehicle that I've bought by myself. A lot has been done to the F-150, so let's just get right on to the things that I've done to the F-150 so far. So this is my 2008 Ford F-150 Lariat. Uh, we're gonna start right in the front. First mod that I actually did, uh, if you guys were been watching on my um, YouTube channel, is actually the front grill. I replaced that with the uh, Raptor style grill and it actually really changed the look of the F-150. Second modification I did to the F-150 actually is these ditch lights. I got these locally uh, i believe the place is called jj lightings i don't know if they're still selling any products right now but yeah um still gotta actually fix these um i gotta do a lot of things to the f-150 especially with the lights because it actually uh, stopped working for a bit there so just gotta fix it all right so next up is the custom tube bumper that i got off marketplace this actually really changed the look of the f-150 a lot i'm still trying to get somebody to fix this portion of the bumper as you guys can see right here it's left a gap a bit over here so i'm trying to find somebody i believe i already got somebody but we're just trying to schedule a time to get it fixed but once that's fixed i'm gonna start uh painting it and uh get it all prepped up i think the next mod that i'm gonna be doing let me just move my license plate there. It's probably removing the uh, lights here and rotating it so that it'll be on top instead because I'm thinking of actually installing a winch uh, right there. So yeah, that'll be a, a project in the future that I'm gonna be doing. All right, so we're gonna move on to the wheels and tires. I got 17 inch HD F240 wheels on, I actually had 33 inch uh, KO2s before, but then I replaced it with the Wild Peaks a while back i went from 33 inches to 35 inches and honestly it completes the look of the uh, f-150 for the front i gave it a two and a half inch lift uh bilstein front shocks just to clear the uh, 33s before but it's still doing pretty good with the 35s that i have on that's so far what i had for the uh front shocks so that i can just fit these bigger tires all right so we're moving on to the side I got bushwhacker fender flares. I'm thinking of actually replacing these uh, with a newer one. Once I've installed the bumper, I'm thinking of maybe replacing these, but so far they've been pretty good for me. Something I might do, but not 100%. So moving on to the back, uh, nothing has changed yet, but I will be replacing the bumper uh, with that custom uh, bumper that I got with the front bumper as well too. I still gotta just prep it. Haven't had time to do it, but I will be uh, installing that soon also probably going to be replacing the hitch as well too because uh, i damaged that on one of my trail uh, trips that i had if you've been following my channel for a couple of years now you guys knew that i had a roof rack on top of my truck bed uh, also had a rooftop tent as well too i've sold those uh two things because i have uh bigger plans for this f-150 uh moving forward but yeah that will do it for the rear of the truck uh, let's move inside the truck itself. Inside of the truck, nothing major actually. Only thing I have here is I have a CB radio that I might actually remove from here and uh, use it to replace the one I have in my Jeep because the one in the Jeep isn't working. So I might actually replace that. Got the button for, for the ditch light. Other than that, pretty much stock interior. Nothing really changed towards it. That's pretty much the F-150 guys. Didn't actually do too much modifications to it because I ended up getting the Jeep. So I did most of my modification on the Jeep itself. So future plans for the F-150. 
Uh, like I've mentioned in a few videos, I am planning to flat deck the F-150 and then eventually building a camper on it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon, but so far, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Next modification I'm gonna be doing to the F-150 is actually trying to get that front bumper fixed and then installing the uh, custom rear bumper onto my uh, onto the F-150. Uh, then getting that painted and getting it all prepped up. Favorite trip with the F-150, I have to say, is when we went uh, through this pinstripe the area uh, that overlooks a valley uh, right on top of the peak. Probably one of the biggest trips that I took with, you know, like with my friends. And other than that, I'd say uh, going on to that BC family trip with my uh, my good friends. But yeah, those are probably the two um, trips that I enjoyed the most. Of course, I'm gonna be doing a lot more builds uh, for the F-150 moving forward. Uh, as you guys know, uh, the gas prices have just been too crazy. So I've been minimizing a lot of my trips because I have big trips uh, coming up this uh, summer. But other than that, guys, that will do it for the first episode of the rig walk around. Next episode, uh, we're gonna be diving into uh, my Jeep. So uh, there's a lot that I've done already so far within a year. Future episodes as well too, I'm planning to do a one year review of my Jeep as well too. So uh, watch out for that. I'm gonna be brutally honest about the <laughs> about owning my Jeep. So uh, yeah, just watch out for those two episodes coming up um, soon, uh, once I start filming it. Uh, like I said, it's it's been raining a lot here in BC. But anyways, guys, that will do it for this video. If you guys like this video and excited for uh, future episodes of this rig walk around, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos. Until next time, guys, like always, stay awesome. Hey, guys, if you guys want to watch more content, I got two videos for you guys to check out. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.